Old School RuneScape is a MMORPG with millions of players. A game where you can level up your character, do quests, and interact with other players on the same journey as you. And one of those players, Link's Titan. Link's Titan, you might ask? Well, for the active player base, they might know him from right here. <laughs> Top of the leaderboard, baby. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. Lynx Titan was the first person to reach the max amount of experience points of 4.6 billion. Bruh. Currently, there's only 33 people who has earned this massive achievement. <laughs> His journey though started in the classic version of the game, which today is called RuneScape 3. You see, back in 2012 the game introduced a new concept, the evolution of combat, also called the EOC. The game developers Jagex wanted to improve their old combat system. The original game was developed in 2001, so they thought it was due for a facelift. With new fresh abilities, a more immersive battle style and all new graphics, Jagex was sure they had improved the game by a landslide but they had no idea how wrong they no, were. God! Players had used years to master the old combat system, and the community was split in half. Half of them were quite happy with all the new features, and half of them were outraged. How could Jagex do this to them? They spent years learning to tick manipulate the old game, prayer flicking and min-maxing in general. This ended up with Jagex re-releasing the old game, a 2007 it's version of the game, calling it Old School RuneScape. February 22nd, 2013, Old School RuneScape was up and running, and people loved it, mostly for its nostalgia, and it quickly surpassed the newer version in players. This is where Lynx comes in. He was a very active player on the newer version called RuneScape 3. His name there was Forsberg888, and I'll come back to that. He was a really active player here, and he's most known for gaining 3 billion experience in just one year. Keep in mind, it was much faster to gain experience in this version of the game. But he also managed to get rank 2 on the overall leaderboards. Time goes by, and old school RuneScape keep improving their game. They've introduced quality of life changes, the Grand Exchange came back, a sort of auction house where items in-game can be traded, new quests arrived, and most importantly, it was now a community-driven game. This made Lynx eager to start his own journey. He could play the game he loved, and with some of the new improvements, it's the best of both worlds. He creates his account and randomly generates the name that will go into the history books. Lynx Titan. Hold on, before we go on, let's talk about the experience point system in old school RuneScape. There are 23 skills in the game, varying from cooking to smithing to attack and woodcutting. And max level on all of them is 99. You start each level in level 1, except for hit points which starts at level 10. To get 99 in a skill requires around 13 million experience points. This itself takes hours upon hours, because the developers made the leveling system exponential. This means the higher level you get, the more experience you need. For reference, when you hit level 92 in a skill, you're halfway done to getting 99 in that skill. Halfway. So, now that you know the basics of the experience point system, you might have a certain grasp of what makes Link so special. He's the first player to gain 200 million experience points in each and every skill in Old School RuneScape. Yeah, you heard that right, 200 million in each skill. That's like gaining 99 in every skill 15 times, or gaining 99 in a skill over 350 times. It's absolutely insane, and he did this in a span of 5 years. His first skill to reach 200 million experience was crafting, which he achieved on January 28, 2015. This was also the point where he reached rank 1 on the scoreboard. In 2015 he actually won two Golden Gnome awards, both for entering the Hall of Fame. One for the account Lynx Titan in Old School RuneScape and one for his account Forsberg in RuneScape 3. At the time Jagex didn't even know that it was the same person behind both of the accounts. I think that says a lot about Lynx, keeping top positions in two games in the same year. He kept grinding in 2015, finishing 200 mil experience in 6 more skills. In 2016 he did 9 more skills and the contenders for rank 1 and max experience were starting to fall behind a lot. Some of the rivals actually gave up because they literally couldn't keep up. He used 2017 and 2018 to finish up the rest of the skills. The reason there was a slowdown is not because he played less, it was because he did the slower skills in the end. And on December 28th 2018 he was about to make history. Just before the year was about to finish, he reached his goal of 4.6 billion experience points. He even got a congratulatory message from Jagex in-game. The grind was finally over. So, how did he do it? 
Well, the Swede did an AMA six years ago in 2016, where he told us that he played the game for around 17 hours every day, every single day for five years. He missed two weeks of playtime within that time frame, when he went on a family vacation without an internet connection. That's the dedication you need to be the absolutely greatest in something. All focus on that. On the other hand, he actually stated that it was his enjoyment of the game that made him continue. Not the chase after rank 1, just the sheer joy of playing the game. He also told us that he sleeps for 6-7 to seven hours every night, does 60 push-ups and sit-ups every day, and spend about 5 minutes outside a week. Yeah. 5 minutes outside per week. His diet consisted of bread 3 times a day and lasagna 1 time per day. He stated that he was living with his family and that's how he was able to dedicate so much of his time to old school RuneScape. In his AMA he also seemed like he was really trying to prioritize school, which he did online. From what I've read about him, his answers to his AMA and from his YouTube channel, I feel like Lynx is a really well-reflected, decent guy that has a true love for this game. He enjoyed finding his ways to maximize his experience rate per hour, and it was his pure enjoyment of the game that made him push through. I struggled to find any new information about him after 2018, and I even tried reaching out to him in his DMs unsuccessfully. As soon as he hit absolute max, he logged out. Just as quietly as he appeared on the high scores, he disappeared from the game. Where he is now is a mystery. Some says he plays on a new account. Some says he probably finished school and has a job, quit the game completely. No one seems to really know. His last recorded in-game message was, thank you for the support guys, logging out now, take care. So in summary, Lynx Titan will forever be remembered as the first person to absolute max in old school RuneScape. I hope this video will help carrying his legacy. He spent over 25,000 hours on this massive achievement and I believe that's worth honoring. I hope you're doing well, Lynx. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye!